Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to add new sounds into Minecraft. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, and make sure that you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, and every single subscription counts. So make sure you hit that sub button and subscribe to my channel. Also, take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. Adding a brand new sound into Minecraft is actually not that hard to do, and I have one right there inside of that command block. Let me just play that for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get this whole thing figured out. Now, the first thing you need to do is to find a new sound to use. There we go, freesound.org. Great site for finding a lot of public domain sounds that are easy and free to use. It takes a little bit of digging around to find them, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Just do a search up here of the kind of sound you want, and you should get a list of sounds to choose from. I'll put the link for the sound that I used in the description if you want to go ahead and download that same sound. Okay, let's take that sound. I normally use Audacity to edit my sounds. I'll bring Audacity up with that sound in it, and we'll convert that to the .og format. There we go. This is kind of an arcade sounding beep, an old video game style sound. And it's in stereo. As you see, the stereo works out just fine for short sounds. For longer sounds like music, you may want to switch it over to mono so you get that fade out effect as you walk away from it. But we'll stick here with stereo for this. This is just fine. And to convert this to the .og, go up to File, come down to Export, and simply Export as OGG, and then give it a name. I've already done it right here. I just cut off everything in there. I left just the arcade part and exported that out as .og. I'll leave it as the full name here for this. Just click on Save and OK. It then exports that sound file out. OK, so we have our sound file. We've converted that to the .og format. We now need to put that into a resource pack for putting into Minecraft. Let me bring up my resource pack folder. Okay, here's my basic resource pack. It has three parts to it. The assets folder, the pack.mc meta file right here, and the pack.png file. This is just a square image. I like using 256 by 256, and it's a PNG. Doesn't matter what the picture is. This is just a drawing I did a few years ago. So, yeah, anything is fine here. The pack.mc meta. Now this is for the current 1.16.2 version of Minecraft, and with that .2 version, the pack format is now 6, right there. I just called this Arcade Sound. This is just what shows right beneath the resource pack inside of the list of resource packs inside of Minecraft. That's all that description is. But there you go. That's all I have to make sure is set in here in the pack MC Meta. Now to find the files in here, if you want to find the default files if you're setting up a brand new resource pack, let me bring up a file window and I'll show you where to find these two files. Okay, here's just a standard file window and I'll use the percent app data percent shortcut up here. And then go right here into .minecraft at the top, come down to versions right down here, open this up and then scroll down until you find your version. Our current version here is 16.2, 1.16.2. Go inside of that and you want to find that jar file right there. If you're not seeing the .jar, just go up here to view and make sure that this is checked phoneme extensions and you should see it. If you're only seeing the JSON, then make sure that you've played the 1.16.2 update at least one time because the first time you play it, that's when the jar file is downloaded. Okay, I'm just going to copy this over here. I'll right drag that right there and copy. And let's get rid of this. Done with that. Okay, in here, we need to open this up. Yeah, it's easy to do. This is just a zip file. So I'm just going to change the name of jar there to zip and choose yes. We can now just double click on this and open this up. There we go. You're going to see just a few files at the top. There's the default assets file and then a bunch of these class files. All you have to do is scroll way down through this class list. It's way down to the P's, way down here. There we go. There's the pack MC meta and there's the pack PNG files right there. Just copy those out to your resource pack location and you're all set to go. Okay, let's go ahead and get back into our location here. So these are just taken from this location and I just made my own graphic for that. And then just double check this and change the description and you're all set. Okay, let's take a look at the assets. Inside of the assets folder, we'll need to have a Minecraft folder. Inside of Minecraft, you need a sounds folder. We'll look at the sounds JSON in just a minute. But you need your sounds folder. Inside of sounds, you need to make some other folder. I have one here for block, which I used in a different video. But for our custom sound, I made a new one here called custom. Just you know, click on new folder, make a new folder, call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I call it mine custom. And inside of here, that's where you put your OGG file. So I just called mine arcade. Okay, so the assets folder is all set up. The other part in here, if I just back up a little bit, 
That's this sounds.json. See that this is inside of the Minecraft folder. Let me go back here one step. There's your Minecraft folder. Inside of there, there's your sounds folder with all your sounds in it. And here's your sounds.json file. Now you need to make this. It's easy to do though. Let me just bring this one here. I'll open this up. Now I'm using Windows Notepad for this. It's just fine as long as it's saved as an ANSI file. I'll go here and I'll show you that. If I go here to File and Save As, just check down here where it says Encoding and make sure that that says ANSI right there. And you're all set. That's all you need to do. Okay, now in here, this is a special little bit of Java code right in there. And I'll put this in the description so you can go ahead and just copy that out and not have to worry about figuring this whole thing out. Now what we have in here, the first part of this, where it says custom.arcade, that is simply the folder that it's in and the name of the sound right there. Instead of a slash, we just have that dot. So that's all that is. That's the folder and the sound name right there. Inside here we have category and master. Now this is simply the slider control for the volume controls inside of the game. Let me bring that up so you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay, here we are back in the game. And I'll click into options. And up here, music and sounds right there. And notice we have master volume here, and then we have weather, hostile creatures, players, voice, friendly, ambient, blocks, and jukebox. Those are the categories right there. In most cases, the best choice is just master volume, unless you're doing music, in which case you put this over here at the music category. Okay, so that's all that is. Easy to do. Okay, so we're back out here. So that's all that is. And again, in most cases, master is the right choice for your sounds. The other one you may want to use is music. Okay, now sounds over here, this just tells Minecraft where to find it. And it's the same things we had over here. It's just a slash instead of a dot. So that's the name of it. This is the slider control, basically your volume control right here. And then the sounds, this is the location where it is. Now this is inside of the sounds folder. So if I open this up, you can see there's the custom folder right there, and inside of custom, there's the file name right there. And that's all that we have to have in here. This simply tells Minecraft what it's called, which volume control to attach it to, and the location of where it's at. So Minecraft knows where the sound is. Once it knows that, we can then call this up inside of the game. Okay, so we have that's all done. And again, I'll put that in the description so you can just copy that down. I'll also put this whole resource pack up online so you can just download that from my site as well if you want to do it that way. Okay, so we have our pack MC meta is done. Pack PNG, picture, whatever you want, that's done. Our assets folder is done. We don't need this any longer. We can ignore that. Let's now zip this up. Click on this, hold the control key down, and click on those two. I'll just use the Windows zip tool. Go up to share, click on zip. There we go. And then just give this one a name. I'll call this Arcade 2, because of course my Arcade 1 was the sample I showed at the beginning of the video. There we go, Arcade 2. That's all set. This is now our resource pack. We now need to get this inside of the game. Again, easy to do. Let's just bring back up the game. Easy way to do this. Here's the game. I'm just going to do that. There we are. Go into Options and Resource Packs in an Open Pack folder. There we go. That's the other way to get to this folder. Okay, I want to have this in this folder. I'll just right drag into the folder like that and copy. There we go, there's my arcade too. Okay, that is all taken care of. Back into the game, let's do done, done. Let's go back into options, back into resource packs. Let's make sure it's in here now. We should be seeing it. There it is right there, arcade two. Okay, I'm going to remove the arcade up here. Let's back that out. And we'll bring in our arcade two, which we just did. There it is, choose done. Let that reload that new resource pack. Now what's in the pack is exactly the same as the first arcade, so that's all fine. Choose done, and back to the game. Okay, now we can easily play that sound just by using the play sound control. All right, go ahead and do a little forward slash there. And then we want to type in play sound. There's the play sound command right there. Hit the space bar. Now in here, these are all of the sounds in the game. You can scroll down and find all the sounds. But if you just begin to type, it's going to find the sound for you. Ours was custom arcade, so I'll just do custom. There we are, and I found it right there. Minecraft colon custom arcade. There's our sound. Little space. It's in the master. We know that. I'll just do master right there. And I'll do it at the nearest player. There we go. And a space. Then just put in the three tildes. This is simply the location, x, y, and z axis. If you just do three tildes, that just means that it's right there. So I'll do the three tildes, 
and then hit the enter key and there's the sound. And the exact same thing can be done with the command block. I'll just right click on the command block and you can see up here there is that code. Let me just back this up and we'll do that same thing over again. Just a little bit different here, although not much. So I'll do the play sound. Notice you don't have to have that forward slash if you're doing this inside of the command block. Okay, space. And then same thing, I'll just begin to type in the name of that sound. And there it is, we found it. And a space. This is going to be master and a space. So it at P, which is our nearest player, and a space. And that's just the location of the command block. It's right there. And it's set at unconditional. It does need redstone. If you don't want to, I have mine using a redstone button. So I'll click on redstone here. It needs redstone. Everything else is fine. Choose done. There's the block. There is my little redstone button. I'll right click on that. And there's the sound. So there you go. That's all there is to adding in a brand new sound inside of Minecraft. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you click on share. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And if everybody subscribes, we'll get there real fast. Also check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff. And I'll see you later.